Uh, certainly, you are coming into the show as a new person, but also Torres is coming into this unit as a new person as well. Can you talk a little bit about how we're seeing that parallel on screen and how you're kind of getting to know the actors and the characters and how that's, that's playing? A, yeah, that's a beautiful question. I it makes my job so much easier <laughs> because uh, the the love that I had received off screen um, and the 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 the, the welcome, you know, um, energy has, as I'm learning, you know, being a series regular on the show and as I'm learning the set and as I'm learning to pace myself and energy wise and shooting 22 episodes and all these things, it's the same in a way pressure that, well, probably Torres is more pressure than that, but like, it's the same type of pressure, you know, that he must be feeling coming in. Uh, and it, it, par it parallels, like you said, it's a mirror. Uh, it's literally art imitating life. And it makes my job a lot easier. And it's been beautiful in, in both ways. I don't, I think there's been beautiful connections on screen and there's been just as many beautiful connections off screen. It's not more, actually, a lot more. Like I really love the people I'm working with and I've made, our, uh, you know, friends that are, that are real, you know. Yeah, well, and certainly the crew, I know the crew has been posting some fun uh, videos of you guys behind the scenes too. We'll be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, they, <laughs> like, they, like to, you know, they like to mess with me for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, so, and you know, when you were introduced last season, one of his uh, conduits into the show was through Halstead. And now that Halstead is gone, who is Torres in your mind kind of latching onto and kind of connecting with the most as he's progressing on his journey as an officer? I think that, uh, definitely at water because you know there's been a lot of moments where they've taken cases and that j just gets you close and they come from a very similar background um, which makes them you know uh, be able to speak the same language and and to share things about their past and stuff uh, but I also think that from the, the the moments that maybe don't make it on screen um, either because of time or because they haven't been written yet but I but but I can see the connections there's definitely a lot to learn from Void and a lot to learn from, and, and, a, and a, a special connection with Upton because they both kind of like lost Halstead, you know, in a way. And, and uh, I'm excited to see where that, you know, when that shows on screen, but there's definitely like, you know, even though there's a lot of, you know, everyone, everyone contributes and Torres learning, I, I, I can see a specific, you know, Upton, Voigt and Atwater uh, relationship. Yeah, well, and this week's episode is a big one for you what can you tease about how the case hits a little bit close to home for him? It is as close as the word can mean. It is uh, his, his mother. Uh, it is that, that he's protected since he was a little, you know, boy. He became the man of the house at 14 years old. And nothing is more important for him than his mother and his, his loved ones. And this case brings him right into the middle of his family and the people that he's taken bullets for uh, growing up and protected. And, um, and, and he's gonna have to navigate, you know, a gray area of what is right and what is um, gonna hurt people that, that, that he loves. Uh, but is it, is, it, is it worth it? Is it, should I do it? What, you know, what is the right, what is the right thing, you know? And, and, I don't think there's much thinking in those moments. I think it's very, uh, it's, it's uh, driven by his gut, you know, feeling and, and what, who he is as a person and what he wants to do in the world and how he wants to break cycles uh, that makes him really capable of, of, of doing this job inside his neighborhood or outside his neighborhood. 